Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Big Brace channel. My name is Amir. Good morning, good evening, whatever you may be. Today's video is about forms in Django. So Django forms are very important for building web applications because basically they facilitate the user input, as I said, as in any other um, framework, right? Or programming language. So we used to do forms in PHP. Um, now that's done very easily if you're using a framework like Django. So um, Django forms basically facilitate the user input and help handle data in a very clean and efficient manner. So I'm going to create a folder. I'm going to call it forms dot cd to that. Then uh, what I want to do, let's just make like this. So what I want to do here is I will do ppnv shell to activate the virtual environment. Awesome. Next, I will do ppnv install Django. Right, cool. So I will do Django admin start project project. That's going to be our main project. I'm going to cd to that. And uh, we have the manage.py command line. I'm going to create an application. I'm going to call it um, just app. So python manage.py start app app. All right, cool. So we have a project and app within the main project, right? So we have a file manage.py, we have a project, uh, we have a projects folder and apps folder. All right, awesome. Let me go ahead and open this with Visual Studio Code. All right. So the first thing that I can do um, directly is just to add the application to the installed apps list. Now, the first thing that I want to do is to go to models.py. Let me just shut that. So uh, we'll go to models.py. And uh, so let me just delete this, stress me out. Right, so I'm going to create a class and I will call it employee attendance. This employee attendance class is going to inherit from models.model. And uh, I'm going to just declare a variable called employee underscore name that's going to take from models dot car field. So um, the car field here, let's just put some maximum length of 100. So max length, uh, max underscore length, that's 100 characters. Uh, let's have a date. So the date here is again models dot date field. Next, I want to declare a list. So that's going to be called status choices. That's going to be a list of several choices. Uh, so we have, for instance, P that's going to be present. Oops. Present. And we have two more. Let's say, for instance, A for absent and L for leave. Right. Awesome. Then I'm going to use that in the status variable. So that's going to be equal to models dot car field again, uh, car field. And that's going to take maximum length of uh, maximum length of one, because that's going to be one letter only. And the choices are going to be equal to the status, um, the status choices here. Also, let's have a string representation. So let's do stir. You can do with wrapper if you want. You can do with um, wrapper, right? But I prefer string, uh, the, the stir method always, right? So stir, and I have a video, by the way, explaining the difference between stir and wrapper. I made this video maybe four years ago or something. So um, yeah, I might leave the link to that video in the description below as well. So for the, the stir for the string representation, I want to return um, an F string saying that self dot employee name and the date. So also self dot date, right? And that's essentially our, um, that's essentially our models.py file. Now let's go and create forms.py file. So I'm going to create a file called forms.py 
in this forms the pi is very important so we want from django to import forms as i told you this forms module here we can import it directly from django you don't have to install any third party libraries or external modules um, it's already embedded in django or um, just provided to you by django out of the box also you want to do from uh, the current directory models you want to import the employee attendance class right also i want to create a class i'm gonna call it employee attendance form that's a very long name let's just close the explorer and uh, here that's inheriting from forms dot model form right and let's have a meta class by the way i wanted to explain uh, and i'm doing those uh, quick videos guys explaining some advanced concepts in python um, i'm writing a book about python by the way for beginners so i'm working on that as well um, and it's going to be free so once it's done i'm going to leave the link to that book you can use it as a guide um, so the meta classes uh, meta classes are very important in short you can think of meta class as a class of a class so uh, any any class in python in general has type class that's a meta class for whatever class you're using so we're going to create that uh, class here what's it's called meta and uh, we have a model that's going to be the employee attendance and uh, i need fields that's going to be a list of um, different fields basically right so uh, we have the three fields that we have employee name date and um, and status right then let's create widgets so the widgets here are going to be uh, in a form of dictionary so we'll have employee name so employee name and that's set to be forms dot text input and here we'll have attributes so the attributes are going to be class and form control so we're going just to put it in the form of a dictionary with key value pairs class and that's going to be the form control right so that's the first one we need two more just make it like that instead of employee name we'll need date and that's going to be instead of text in, text input uh, we'll need date input maybe i did something wrong uh, that's going to be date input right so date input there we go and here the attributes class that's form control but also i need um, a second set of um, key value uh, key value pairs we want the type to be date so type is set to date and finally we want the status so status here and that's going to be select right because we need to select from the status whether present absent or leave so that's going to be select and uh, the attributes simply are going to be the same class uh, class is set to form control and that's it basically this is our forms.py file now i will need to go to views.py and that's the view in the mvt cycle the, the the model view template cycle or structure so um let's just delete that and let me import from form the employee attendance the employee uh, employee attendance uh, wait hold on ah, forms sorry employee attendance form right so i'm gonna create a function and i'm gonna call it attendance form attendance underscore form and that takes a request of course then uh, if you will if you will not define request like this the default request is going to be a get request the http request is going to be get um, so we're going just to make it like that that's going to be the request and essentially we want a post request because we're going to submit the form so i'm going to check out if the request dot method is equal to uh, post request we're going to 
set the form to be equal to the employee attendance form and we're going to pass inside uh, that that request right so uh, we'll say request dot post next i want to do form validation so i will uh, just check out if form is or if form dot is valid right and let me just show you so this is valid function returns true if the form has no errors or false otherwise as simple as that so it's a simple validation checking uh, brought to you again by Django out of the box. We're going to check if that's true. Um, we're going to save the form. So form.save. Then I will redirect the user. By the way, we'll need to import that to success page. That's the page where uh, you get the message thank you for submission or success or whatever else we're going to set the form to the employee attendance form and i'm going to return here by rendering the request and the attendance underscore form dot html that i haven't created yet and the context, of course, which is in the form of dictionary. So form set to form. So let me uh, just create a folder here called template. Um, yeah, you can create inside this another folder and just change the route, but yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, this is just a simple, a very simple form, guys, just for demonstration. Attendance form dot HTML. Also, I want to create that success page as well. So success page dot HTML. Now for the attendance form, that's nothing complicated. That's simple, just boilerplate with some styling. The most important thing for me here is this part right here. So I'm just going to do like that. So you have a form tag with method of post. Directly when you have a post method, you have to have the CSRF token, the cross site request forgery. So the method post first, this is the attribute that specifies that the form is going to be submitted with this um, post HTTP request method. Okay, so this method here is very often used when submitting some sensitive data, or if you change data, for example, like form submission, like in our example, because the data is not exposed in the URL. So you're going to submit it through that form. So that's sensitive and that's dangerous. It could be easily hacked if there is no much protection. So the CSRF token tag outputs a hidden input field with a unique token. This token is going to be used by Django for checking and verification when processing the form submission. Um, why is that exactly? Again, for security to ensure that the form submission is coming from your website and not from a malicious script or some intercepting user or a hacker or whatever. The next line, the form.as underscore p, this is a placeholder for the Django form object that's passed to the template. Form is the variable name and dot as underscore p renders the form fields wrapped in HTML tags. Next, you have a submit button with a BTN primary class and that's it. That's the most important thing um, in that form. Other than that, you can take all of that, by the way, and uh, just cut it and, you know, we don't care. I want it just to make it clean. Um, by the way, I will need to get back to views because I will need to create um, this function called success page, right? Success underscore page for the success page. So let's do like that. Let's open parentheses and let's pass the request. And uh, here I'm going to render the request as first argument and um, the template name, which is the success page dot HTML success page dot HTML. Now let's go to let's actually oh, we haven't created it yet. So we'll need the URLs.py here on uh, the applications level because we have a urls.py on the projects level so we need to take care of that first so from django.urls i need to import path 
and also from current directory I want to import the views and then the URL patterns that's the list for the URLs so uh, the first path is going to be um, attendance and here we're going to say views dot attendance form right uh, dot not forward slash okay so that's views dot attendance form and also I want success and here we have the um, success page right and we can add name attendance form attendance form and success page right that's it URL patterns okay all right, let's go ahead and check out the urls.py, which is in the projects folder. So I want here on an empty path or an empty route to include the app.urls, right? And uh, just import that here, right? And that's, that's basically it. Now let's go ahead and check out if we'll have any errors. Let's do Python manage dot pi make migrations we have an error let's check out where's the error status uh, select did you mean select um, yes let's go to forms pi and let's select here right okay apologize for that all right create model employee attendance now let's go ahead and apply those migrations python manage the pi migrate Awesome, no errors, everything has been successfully migrated. So we have made migrations, we have applied migrations. Now let's go ahead and run our server. So Python, manage the pi, run server. Right, awesome, no errors. So let's open that link. And we have here, of course, um, an error because on empty route we don't have anything. We need to go on the attendance route. And there we go. So employee name, let's say, um, let's say Joe, the date, uh, let's make it today, no problem. Status, let's do present and let's submit. And we have a success page. Your attendance information has been submitted successfully. Um, by the way, I forgot to show you the success page. Uh, I've created the success page. It has, again, very basic styling and uh, again this is the most important thing you have here a div with message container class h2 tags with a paragraph and then an anchor a link with the url attendance form because when you will click on back to form it's going to redirect you to the attendance form so let me show you that if you'll click on back to form you will get back here right so we can add uh, also nancy uh, she was absent on the 8th submit and that's submitted uh, let me actually change a little bit in the attendance form I'm going just to add the styling in the head let's save that the server is running right okay uh, let's get back to form and we have this beautiful form with uh, just CSS just CSS so let's try the last one with the with the leaf status let's say here Victor um, on on the 16th he's going to be on leave submit and we have a success message as the form has been successfully submitted all right so uh, that's basically forms in Django I hope this tutorial was useful to you guys thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next Django tutorial or other tutorials see you later guys